Hello friends, my name is Imran. Today I am going to talk about how to generate PAC peripheral access grid. As might be known in embedded Rust, the abstraction level sitting directly on top of the controller is the peripheral access grid. The PAC gives access to the controller register to configure and control controller functions. On top of the PAC sits the hardware abstraction layer, providing higher level abstraction and safe code assurance as well. Developing code at the PAC will require a PAC grid for the targeted controller, right? I have STM32 F0 Nucleo board. I know for that all for that already supported crates are available. But what if we don't have the crate? So no need to worry. These packs are all generated using a command line tool called SVD2 Rust. SVD2 Rust. What is SVD2 Rust? Uh, let's search SVD2 Rust. SVD2 Rust. SVD to Rust grabs what is called an SVD file and converts it into PAC exposing API and allowing access to peripheral register. Right? What is an SVD file? SVD file is a system view description file. is an extensible markup language XML formatted file describing the hardware future of device of a device listing all the peripherals and register associated with them. Right? Where do we will get this SVD file? Where will find? This SVD files typically are released by microcontrollers manufacturers, right? So to generate pack, we need to install Cargo install SVD to Rust, right? Let's install the Cargo SVD to Rust. I have already installed, so that's why it's ignored that package. Now we need to create now we need to create a bind library package. The file generated by SVD to Rust need to be contained in a library package. So we need to create library package and inside cargo new fnfn lib. It's created now just open this folder now it contains cargo.ml and source under source lib.rs is there now just open in vs code It's open now you can see that now we need SVD file to generate pack so where now you just search that SVD resource SVD resource files you'll get a F0 F1 all type of series STM boards system view description files are available here it, it will be generated in zip file you need to extract these files and it I have already downloaded inside you can see here inside already it is available so just need to copy this SVD files to inside here. Already we have created package, right? There we need to copy. Just copy and paste it here. And I'll minimize this window. Copied, right? Now just run the just follow the commands as mentioned in the documentation SVD to Rust. Now you just run this command. Sorry, we I have given a wrong file name. So we need to provide correct file name. So now you can see that is generated. Now you can see that there are build.rs three files build.rs, device.x and stm32. In build.rs, it contains the linker script files and device.x, it contains the uh, handlers like uh, watchdog timer handler, rtc timer handlers and in lib.rs, it contains the all register level peripherals and implementation. Here it's generated in lib.rs. So it's not structured way in direct, in, it is not a structured, right? So we need to structure. So for that we need to install a form. Form crate. 
So what is form? A library for splitting apart a large file with multiple modules into the idiomatic Rust structure intended use with SVD to Rust, right? So to install form, just run this command cargo install form. I have already installed, so I am not going to install again. So just run this command. After that, we need to remove this source. We no need this for source. Just run this command. And again, we need to form this, right? We already downloaded form. Just run this command. It started creating the new directories. See, it's created and it's done. Now you can see here inside source it's created directory adc can etc flash etc gpios and here you can see it's not yet formatted so to format we need to run cargo fmt it's done now you can see that before format and after format. Now we need to add dependencies, right? So just copy these dependencies as mentioned in the document SVD to Rust and paste this here. Just update the crates, crates versions and save it. It is done. We have generated the pack. Now if you just run this command, you can see that it's building. Just cargo build iPhone iPhone R. It is compiling still. There is no errors in that we generated the pack. Now, now we need to test this pack, right? So I have created LED example using this pack. So I'll show you that LED pack, which, and I'll go through the work. I'll walk through the code each line by line. So we can save the time to write this code. It's an five, five, uh, ten, 10 line code here. In cargo.ml, I have imported crates Cortex M and this crate which we have created STM32F091 pack, right? Here you can see the package name STM32F091 pack, right? STM that here I am providing the path and enabling the future RT and critical section and panic halt, right? Panic halt, we can create our own panic halt, but right now I am using existing panic halt. This Cortex MRT and uh, we need Cortex MRT. In memory dot section, we need mic that I, which I have bought in that 256 kilobyte of flash and it has RAM 32 kilobyte. So that 256 and 32 kilobyte. In the config.ml, we need to enable this target which is Cortex M0 Th target we need to enable. And Rust plug I disabled because I am using build.rs. If you are not using build.rs, we need to enable this Rust rust flags in build.rs it will link the build, uh, build script to also it link the flags to the tell it which link script to use right so it will provide all linker script in out directory it will directly put it in that target section so now just now in the main section if you main.rs here i am importing three crates use cortex matry panic halt and I may set up the handler for device peripheral and enabling the clock GPIOA and GPIOC and I am configuring the PA5 LED pin and here I am not configuring the PC13 because I am just reading that pin right so now inside if it is uh, high then PA5 output pin is turned on LED if it is low turn off LED that's it and now just compile run this cargo flash type the cargo flash if any function the chip this command will run the compile it will compile and run the it will flash the directly to that microcontroller just hit that it is flashed and it is done 
now i am connecting that uh, i have already connected that board so that's why i have flashed if i press the user button led is on if i release the user button led is off so that's it guys thank you for your time have any questions or queries share your thoughts in the comments below thank you